Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2, the King of the North. And I am the King of the North, as always. Actually, I'm more like an advisor. I'm more of an advisor. King Rob is actually the King of the North. But I'm advising him. I'm advising him. And last time, last episode, a lot of crazy shit kind of happened. Um... Uh, waged a war for the for the for the, uh, the 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 twins, won the war but didn't win the war in a in a weird a weird scenario of events, and then when we went to war with King Tywin to again take the twins, he unleashed his super weapon, Sir Aaron Santagar, the legendary man who. Uh, bested the young wolf in single combat and captured him and single-handedly won a war that Tywin, for all intents and purposes, was not going to be able to win. And because of that, we were thrown in a dungeon and Tywin insulted the entirety of the Stark family by stealing their Valyrian, Valyrian steel. He has taken ice from us. We can see it. Uh, he also has Robert's Warhammer, which isn't that, which isn't good. He's got Heart Eater as well. Like this guy doesn't have enough Valyrian steel. Yes, he took Ice, the ancestral Valyrian steel greatsword of House Stark, and we need to get this ship back before he melts it down into two swords. Even though I thought Heart Eater was made from the remnants of Ice, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But we can't let him melt down Ice, so we immediately demanded the, the return of the Valyrian steel. And he refused, so now we are at war again. This time, for King Rob's war to reclaim their ancestral sword from King Tywin. Is that worth putting tens of thousands of people's lives on at risk? Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It is, it, is, it is a matter of honor. If another house is able to take our Valyrian steel with impunity, then we are no longer a house to be feared, and King Tywin will learn to fear us. So what we're doing here, so I before I started the episode, I, I got myself mentally prepared because this war is going to be a lot harder than it was, than the last one was. Simply because, wait, why, why, is, why would it, why would it be, okay, because, 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 Taiwan has more allies this time. He has the veil, the veil is on his side, and the West has joined in his conquest, or in his war as well. Now, the good news, kind of, sort of. If I can, where is the, uh, who rules, who is Lord Paramount of the West? I'm trying to think of it. Uh, is it, is it you? No, I can't find, I can't find them. Who is the Lord Paramount of the West? Maybe, is it actually, no, he's, I, I'm really confused. I'm trying to figure out how many goddamn soldiers the West has. But I guess because King Tywin also rules over the West, it just combines the forces together. So the West and the Crown Lands together have 23,000 men. The Vale, who has risen up in defending against... Yes, he's risen up to uh, assist the King. Little Robert Aaron has proven to be a traitor. Has 12, almost 13,000 men. Uh, Dorne is not assisting King Tywin because Dorne is actually independent. And the Reach is sitting this one out. I'm not sure if they're going to join King Tywin. They might. And I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking we should assume that they will. Which means that Tywin is going to have another 42,000 men. So at this, at this moment, King Tywin has roughly 30,000 men. We have 25,000 plus the 28,000. So we outnumber them by a smidgen. But if the Reach joins the war on Tywin's side, they're going to outnumber us. Last time, we lost because King Rob got captured. This time, that won't happen because King Rob is forbidden from leading any armies. He will not be in the field, period. Right? So we don't have to worry about that. We just have to win all the battles and take King's Landing, all that jazz. Something I've noticed uh, before I started the, uh, the, the, the recording here is the goddamn Iron Throne is siphoning men into the north. Look at this, 4,000 men. 4,000 loyalists from the Iron Throne, probably King Tywin's personal guard himself, have infiltrated the north, and they're no doubt they're probably marching towards Winterfell. So the beautiful thing is here we have, how many troops do we have? 12,000 northerners, 10,000 rivermen, and we have another 13,000 rivermen in the Trident who are uh, assaulting the west. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this force here and we're gonna rush King's Landing. It doesn't really matter who leads this army. We just gotta get them to King's Landing quick because the attrition is, 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 is pretty bad. And then these guys, what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna merge you guys. I'm gonna merge you, I'm gonna merge you, I'm gonna merge you. And we're gonna make you guys fall back to Winterfell and deal with these uh, expeditionary. I mean, do we really need 10,000 men to do that though? We might actually, because they're, they're gonna be bringing more and more around. Okay, so they're gonna fall back to Winterfell. That'll be okay. The Vale is still trying to get their shit together. We, um, and we don't know where the armies are, the main armies are of uh, King Tywin. Where is my Master of Coin, not Master of Coin, Master of Whisperers? Build a spy network here. Okay, she's given us a little bit more uh, area. We can see what's going on. We're sowing, currently sowing descent in King's Landing. Excellent. Brendan the Blackfish. Ah, oh, god damn it! I need him to lead my armies, though. I need him to lead my armies. But while he leads the armies, he can't train the men. Shit. How the hell did he get 32 Marshall? How did he get that? Brilliant commander, quick, skilled fighter, hunter, brave, authoritative, diligent. Damn. Very nice. Very nice. And he's not he's he's not marrying. Wow. That's kind of sad. Poor, poor Blackfish. Anyways, let's get this war on with. Oh, no, 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 no. Before we do that, before we do that, we need to see if we can't... How many children do we have? Because earlier today, I was playing as King Ares, and I found that you can use betrothals very, very effectively. You can make allies really, really quickly. So who do we have? We got Princess Sansa. Okay, she's the heir. We've got Prince, Princess Brittany Waite. Okay, excellent. She's got a little bit of a fever. Hopefully she doesn't die. That would be very, very sad. We've got Princess Wolferos. Now, who would be good? I think Dorne would be fantastic if, if, if we could get them to join in our war. That'd be another 26,000 men. And because they're independent, I have a strong feeling that they would be more like, more willing to... Is a close relative? Okay. He might not be able to arrange a marriage. Um, let's see. Uh, but you're not of House Martell. Does House Martell not have any children? Ooh, that could be a problem. If they only have daughters, um... No, they've got Prince Ormond. Prince Ormond, who is... Who is inbred. Princess Arian and... Oh, right, 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 right. They're actually related. They're actually related, so... Can we not arrange it? No, he's in hiding. We can't arrange it in a betrothal because they're in hiding. Why are they in hiding? Defending against um, Magister Tero of the Second of Mir to liberate captive from. Oh, gotcha. And he's a truce with King Tywin. Okay. I mean, maybe we could get form an alliance. I don't know. I. Well, here's the thing about betrothals is. If the alliance doesn't work out, you can always just break the betrothal because you don't need that person's help anyways. So what we can do is you can take Sansa. 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 Yes. And how old is she? She is four. That's great. And we can betroth her to Laurent Tyrell. Age of Princess Sansa. Great. His skills. Uh, he doesn't really like her skills, but he really, really, really likes Rob Stark. Children born here. Oh, wow. Uh, matrilinear. Let's just let's just go with Matthew Lanier for now. They will actually marry Laurent Terrell. He must not be very high on their uh, uh, list. This might not work. This might not work. But my goal is to betroth Sansa to whoever Laurent Terrell is. He's obviously in 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 house Terrell. He's he's related to Lord Paramount Mace, and that will allow us to get a non-aggression pact, which can then form into an alliance. And I don't know if we can get Lord Paramount Mace to join in our war or not, because technically he is he is a vassal of King Tywin. And so if that doesn't work, we might have to look to the east for allies. Speaking of allies, what kind of Okay, Bravos has 13,000 men. Pentos is looking kind of big. They only have 10,000 men, of course. Mir has got 8,000. Tyrosh has got 15. And they're being attacked by uh, Lys. So these two are at war. What about Volantis? 20,000. Yeah, maybe getting an alliance with Volantis is not going to be possible. I don't see any way we could do that. But 
You know, it would be great if we can get aid from outside sources. Whew. All right, we'll have to hope. We'll have to hope that uh, we can ally with Mace Terrell somehow. Okay. They, they've agreed. Form an alliance. Is a close relative or has a non-aggression pact? I cannot form a non-aggression pact with him. I'm guessing because he's not independent. That sucks. That sucks a lot. All right, well, uh, joke's on you. We're, we're actually not going <laughs> to honor that betrothal. That sucks, but it is what it is. Um, are the Iron Isles. Iron King Victorian. He has no children, though. Let's see if he wouldn't be willing to marry somebody to, 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 to San, Sansa. How many troops does he have? He has 24,000 troops. 24,000. Um, let's see. Arrange a betrothal to... You know, you shouldn't trust the squids. You shouldn't trust the squids. But um, uh, I think this might work out for us. Does he hate us? He kind of does. Demanded rating redress, and he's zealous. Uh, you know what? It's okay, though. If we piss off the squids, it doesn't really matter. No. Let's see. He said no because skills, political concerns. I think he means to attack us. That's probably why. So that's not great. Really, we can't do... No, we don't have any children that he could marry right now. And nope, he's not going to because he, he considers us an enemy. Ooh, he will regret that. He will regret that. So let's go to Volantis. See if we can't find somebody here that he'd be willing to marry. He could marry herself. Okay. I mean, this is Volantis. They got 20,000 men and they've got ships too. The Volantine Navy is, 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 is infamous, famous. All right. We're, we're probably not gonna keep the betrothal, but uh, you know, don't tell Triarch Donaphos. The guards drag Devin Iceguard up from his cell. He demands a trial uh, by combat. You have that right. I will select someone to stand for the king. Brendan Tully, you will not fight. Sir Oliver Frey. Ah, uh, Wendell. Isn't this that one guy that we recruited? Ooh. Ooh, we could get vengeance on Roos Bolton. Uh, if we do that, Ramsey Bolton takes over, and that might not be a good idea. Um... Well, because, I mean, we could send Lord Roos Bolton, and if he wins, that's great. But if he loses, he dies, and Ramsey takes over. And I don't know if I really trust Ramsey. He seems kind of untrustworthy. All right, let's send Wendell. I don't really care about Wendell. Fight well, Wendell. It is done. Your champion, Wendell, lies injured after being forced to yield, and Skagney stands victorious. Oh, well. Good fight, Mr. Ice Guard. Maybe we should chase down these uh, Veil armies. I'm not sure. I have a bad feeling that there's going to be like a Crown Lander army or two right here. To the Magnificent King Rob, I have decided to accept your suggestion. Excellent. So then we can form an alliance. We can form an alliance. Please, please ally with us, Volantis. To the Brave Noble Rob, I accept your proposal of an alliance. Excellent. Beaut betrothed can marry... Let's, we're, we're, we're not going to be doing all that right now. Wait a minute. Marcella Waters, Lord Brandon of the North. Ah, Brandon can marry Marcella. Sure. Let's do that. Um, Brandon, you're crippled, so you're probably not going to be very good in... Uh, he should probably do Intrigue. Yeah, he should probably do Intrigue. And he's married to Marcella. All right. Um, call allies to war. Yes, reclaim our ancestral sword. 20,000 Volantine. That's what we need. I mean, it would be... Well, now we've pissed off Mace Terrell, so... <laughs> he could easily join in the war now. You, I mean, we could do that same thing with other powers, you know? Because we've got multiple kids. And we're not actually going to keep the betrothals. We're just going to break them anyways. And who, who cares if we piss off the people in the East? I know, that's really, really bad statesmanship, but... It, it is a new tactic I found out, and it's really, really, really useful. Um, 8,000, you're attacking Dorne. I don't like that. Tyrosh and Lisa are attacking each other. I don't like that. Pentos, maybe. Maybe we can get... How many troops do they have? 10,000? Only 10,000? Arrange a patrol between Brittany Waite 
in um, Mopatis. All right, Mopatis. We'll have to keep that in mind. Mopatis. Okay. Th okay, this might get Pentos on board too. Come on, Volantis. Join the war effort. Join the war effort. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Army of Sir Aaron. Is that is that Aaron Santagar? If we attack them here, we greatly outnumber them. And it would be the first major battle of the war for the Ancestral Sword Ice. But they got reinforcements right here. Yes, but they're fighting separately. Do they get a bonus for fighting here? No. They get no bonus. Brendan, lead them to victory. Of course I will honor my Yes! Yes! Of course I'll honor my obligation to answer call to war. Volantis has joined our war. And we can actually see down here. We have Lord Paramount Hoster of the Trident. And we have Volantis. Ho ho ho! Things are just getting interesting. And King Tywin has Lord Paramount Robert. Alright. Excellent! How many men? Look at all these men. So I'd like to see. And they've got lots of boats. Hell yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Fuck you, King Tywin. <laughs> We're coming for you. Alright, big battle. Big, big battle. Uh, uh, fight, fight, fight. And their center's broken. Awesome. Easily done. Easily done. You're not gonna cheese us by having Sir Aaron Santagar win everything for you this time, you son of a bitch. Alright, here we go. Finishing them off here. And how many men did we just kill right there? A, oh, a lot. A lot. So what we have to think about is when we take King's Landing, we have to... Um, oh, you know what? I'm stupid. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. King Tywin. Tywin is being tricky. He's being tricky. Get our forces together, and then we'll march as one. All right. So we're not going to siege rolling forward. We're actually going to go on to King's Landing. We need to figure out what we're going to do. Ooh. Repair my Hoster of the Trident. Tyrion is in King's Landing. And if we capture him, I don't want to kill him. I wish I could recruit him. That'd be so cool. In all honesty, I don't think we're going to capture anybody really important, but it'll be a significant blow against Tywin if he loses. It's his capital, right? Kingdom of the West... King's Landing. He still owns Castamere. Yeah, he still owns Castamere. He gave Casterly Rock away? Oh, to Lord Stafford. Okay. I guess as long as it's another Lannister. Um, and then you got the Veilmen. Can we assault? We will, but it's going to take some time. We have the capital surrounded. Uh-oh. I just saw a hundred ships off the coast. And we are kind of stranded here. Not really stranded, but we are in enemy territory. And I'm seeing they're going to start rallying together. But Tywin only has 6,000 men. He only has 6,000 men. He's got like 4,000 of them. Up, oh, well, almost 4,000. All right. I need not my best guys because you're in King's Landing, right? You're in King's Landing, right? You're in King's Course. You're in King's Landing. Um, Out of curiosity, who's actually leading my army down here? We've got Brynden, Hostin, and Roderick. All right, for this army here, I need uh, the Great John, and I need Howland Reed, and I need Joffrey Dia. You will march on, well, march to Castle Kerwin, and deal with these excursionary forces that are outside Winterfell. Oh, wow, they those 2,000 men really held the line, didn't they? Just in time for reinforcements. It seems that Tywin's plans of infiltrating the north have failed. They're going back to Castle Kerwin, so we're going to pursue. I wonder what other options we get besides just taking our sword back. What do we get when we inevitably win? Transfer ice to the treasury of King Rob. Ice is transferred, and we get some more prestige. All right, at least we get ice back. We get, we get ice back. Um... We're not considered a truce breaker, are we? I don't think so. No, 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 no. We're not. Okay. we. This war is really in our favor, but there are 10,000 Veilmen to the north of us, and there could be more. As long as the Reach sits this one out. 
Uh, Volantis, where where are your ships? You had like 400 ships. Where are, where are they? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it's okay. We're winning. We're winning. Eventually, the, uh, uh, should we assault? Should we assault? I'm not sure. Or should we just hold it? Yeah, go to Battle of Castle Kerwin. Expeditionary forces have been destroyed. Hunt down the rest of them. Leave no Lannisters alive. All right, and then we've got 10,000. Is this the same? Oh, the Vale. Okay, they're just under command of, of the Lannisters now. Um, so you do actually have 10,000 men. Uh, you only have 3,000. Your men are getting devastated. Um, and does he have any more allies? I think that's it. He doesn't have any more. Okay, Osbert has 2,000. That's not really much. I think we'll be safe just holding... Uh, ooh, what is this? Your Grace. Um, I've been employ of Lord Roderick II. Ooh, look at that learning skill. Yeah, but what would you do for us? We would lose 50 gold. I don't want to lose 50 gold. I mean, as long as we hold... Yeah, let's just siege King's Landing. All right, I don't care about that. We'll just siege King's Landing, and we'll take it, and then we'll have to decide what we do with the Lannisters that we capture. I don't think Tywin is going to be able to do anything. He's 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 still in hiding uh, in, in a closet in King's Landing somewhere. Where did... I, I, I mean, I saw those 100 ships, and 100 ships can carry about 10,000 men. Do you think that they might have taken those 10,000 men somewhere else? Where could they have gone? No, those are pirates. I don't care about them. I don't see them. Interesting. Doesn't really matter because the Red Keep's about to fall again. This is funny. Rob is just turning into this complete bully, and the Volantine Navy is here. How many men do you think they're dropping? Two men. Too many. It's going to be too many men. After we take the Red Keep, we're probably going to have to march on the Lannisters because this army here is just going to be... It's going to be too much. Or maybe when they land, we can assault. The 194... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. We have taken the Red Keep. Your Grace, I am pleased to report the successful siege of the Red Keep. I'm sure Blackfish is loving this constant sieging of, of King's Landing. I bet he just loves it. I know I do. Uh, King Tywin Lannister could not be found, however. Instead, we found Prince Tyrion the Imp, our old prisoner... Devon Lannister, who is the son of Tyrion, and Sir Cleos Frey, who is the son of Jenna Lannister and Sir Emmon Frey. Hmm. I see. Throw them in my dungeon. Immediately. Um, what should we do with our prisoners? Well, we can't kill the kids. Rob Stark would never do that. Um, we probably should put them in house arrest so they don't die. Because they will die in the dungeons if we don't do that. Um, Cleos. I don't really have any problems with you. We could humiliate him. He already dislikes us, but he's a fray. He's a treacherous fray. But we have the heir of Tywin Lannister in our dungeon again. And I believe that's what's given us that crazy, uh... Okay, we have to hold everybody. 50% more score. Damn. Ice is ours. All right, let's let's just wait, and then we'll uh, keep assaulting. And there, there you go. That's it. That's the war. That's the war right here. Rob Stark did it. You see, Rob Stark, what you can do? This is why you should be training more, man, because I, I, I would love to see Rob Stark out there in the field actually capturing, you know, you know, fighting battles and stuff, but he's so goddamn important that we can't afford it. We just can't. What is this? Lordship of Sea Dragon Point. Oh. We can't, we can't own that. We gotta give this to somebody. Um, Lordship of Black Pool. And we have the, we have the High Lordship of, of, of Stony... Oh, we must have inherited it from somebody. Alright, so we've got House Slate and we've got House Fisher. I think... Who's their heir? Kyle Fisher. Let's give Sea Dragon Point to Lard, L Lard, Lord Jarl. We'll give you Lordship of Sea Dragon Point. And then we'll give you the High Lordship of the Stony Shore. There you go. Now he'll love us for the end of time, which is great. Crown Loyalists, Lord Rickon for the North. Nope. Uh, what else do we have? We got Mokalin. We could give Mokalin to somebody, but I really do feel like that'd be really, really important to have. 
uh, for the crown, the crown of Winterfell. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The war is over. Send a raven to King Tywin, wherever that bastard is hide hiding. I mean, we've sacked... Maybe we should just sack everything first before we end the war. Because we would get a lot of money, right? Let's just sack it. I'll grant titles to whoever I like. You got nine gold for that. Uh, this castle is going to be hard to take. That's okay, though. We'll just... That's fine. Just take it. Take it all. Take it all. Your Grace, I am pleased to report I've captured some high-valuable prisoners. Uh, after our successful siege of Baylor, so we've taken the Sept of Baylor. Um, who is this? We've got Septon, and we've got the High Septon. Good work. Send them into my dungeon. Throw them all in my dungeon. All of them. We will take everything in King's Landing. We will sack the city. We will take as many prisoners as we can, and then we will send a raven to wherever Tywin is hiding and uh, demand his surrender. Because at this point, I don't think there's any way Tywin can come back from this. He's getting wrecked pretty damn hard. Siege of Flea Bottom. King's Landing has fallen to the Wolf of the North. And his allies from across the across the sea. Enforce demands. It's too bad we couldn't capture Tywin, because I would have beheaded him. But, uh, oh well. First things first, right? See, Rob Stark received a beautiful new ice. The King Rob's war to reclaim their ancestral sword from King Tywin of the Iron Throne has ended. King Rob has won. And we have indeed gotten ice back. It was foolishly lost at the beginning, but we went down south and we destroyed Tywin. We crushed him, and we exposed his weakness to the west to the rest of Westeros. Hopefully, they will take this advantage to 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 throw off their shackles and and regain their independence. Hopefully, that'd be cool. What is this, Lady Paramount Shireen? Shouldn't you be owned by Dorn? That's odd. That is odd. All right, cool. Let's get our armies back. A traveling poet who calls himself a bard arrived today. A good-for-nothing nobody. If he does anything wrong, I'll break every bone in his body. He can save for as long as he likes. It's best to be magnanimous. Uh, okay. The war has ended. Do you wish to reappoint the old council? Yes, we'll reappoint the old council. Okay, so let's go get our armies here. We'll just quickly disband them. We'll disband all of the armies. And that is how you win a war. Now we just have to get the goddamn twins back, and this time we can't get captured. Damn it, the work never ends for the King of the North, but all that will have to take place in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been Crusader Kings 2, the King of the North. I have been the King of the North and Golden Joblivion, and until next time, I will see you all later.